Two days ago, Quentin Dunbar became a free man as his charges were dropped, and now the Seahawks might just have the best secondary in the entire NFL. Alright, what's up everyone, I'm Faloki, and as you just heard, Quentin Dunbar is a free man. His charges were dropped two days ago, and now he is even off the commissioner's exempt list, so he will be playing with the Seattle Seahawks this season. Now this news came out almost immediately after I posted my last video, and you know, I wanted to make a video yesterday for it, but you know, I had to delay it a day because I have something pretty special, and I wanted to announce it. It's my mom's birthday, everyone say happy birthday to my mom. I don't know why you do that, but you know, she's a mom. She deserves some uh, praise, you know. Moms do a lot for us. I, I think everyone here loves their mom, and you know, moms are just really good people, so you know, happy birthday to my mom. She'll probably watch this, so uh, you know, anyone who wants to leave a comment saying happy birthday to her, go ahead. She'll probably see it, and she'll probably be pretty happy. For anyone who doesn't know about the Quentin Dunbar situation, I made a video when it first happened with the information that was out at the time, which, I mean, not too much has changed, so, you know, I think the information is still relevant, and I gave my thoughts on what possibly could happen from it, but, you know, I, I'll, I'll leave the video in a card in the top right of the screen, so if you want to go and check that out, you can, but basically, there was something happening at a house party, I think a poker game or something, and apparently something happened with DeAndre Baker, Quentin Dunbar, and one other guy, and then they robbed the place with firearms and deadly weapons, and Quentin Dunbar had four charges of robbery with a firearm and a deadly weapon, and now all those charges are dropped because of insufficient evidence. Now obviously, the United States legal system is innocent until proven guilty, so since they didn't have the evidence to prove him guilty of the crime, because there was so much weird stuff happening with witnesses and stuff, and they they had to drop the charges because you know it a lot of the witnesses when it first came out were saying that he didn't do anything he wasn't a part but then something came out where the witnesses might have been paid off to say this but there was no evidence to really prove it so they basically just kind of had a stalemate they didn't really know anything so now the charges are dropped and Quentin Dunbar's actually off the commissioner exempt list. Some people thought that maybe even if his charges were dropped since he was in this, he might get a suspension or something, which I mean, I think he still can get a suspension, but he's at least allowed to come back to Seattle and be a part of the team now. Now what you're seeing here on your screen is the official report basically, you know, saying that the case is over from the Broward County Courthouse, I believe. It, it, I'm probably butchering that completely, but you know, where he was being prosecuted, um, you can see it has all of his charges and stuff like that, but then you can see the two big parts where it says action taken, decline case. And then the second huge part is comments in there. It says there is insufficient evidence to charge Quentin Dunbar in this case. Charges are therefore declined. So basically it, it's official. There's no way it can go back. He's already been said to be innocent. He can't go back to court and be proven guilty now, I believe. I'm pretty sure the justice system is like, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure since he was said to be innocent of this crime, he can't be tried twice. Pretty sure that's how it works. And so basically he's good to go. Quentin Dunbar is good to go. This is all off of him. And the, the NFL has allowed him back in. I thought that there might be a suspension. And with all the crazy stuff that was happening, I thought that there could be some big problems for Quentin Dunbar, but he's basically home free. He's, he's, he's out of it completely. Now for this next part of the video, I'm going to be quoting Greg Bell from the News Tribune on what the NFL's decision to reinstate Quentin Dunbar means for him this offseason. And it reads, Saturday's reinstatement clears the way for Dunbar to go on to the 80-man preseason roster within the next couple of days. He can then begin COVID-19 testing protocols in the parking lot outside the team facility on the day he reports, perhaps as soon as Sunday. He will then take another COVID test Monday and a third one on Wednesday. If Dunbar passes all three of those tests, he will be allowed into the team's building for the first time since his trade from Washington this offseason and presumably onto the field for conditioning workouts. Now this is really good news to hear because if everything goes right, Quentin Dunbar can be with the team in less than a week. Now this is really important because obviously the season is starting relatively soon and like the quote said, this would be his first time in the Seahawks facility. So this would be the first time he's with the Seahawks. He needs to build chemistry. He needs to understand the Seahawks defense. He's going to be a big part of the Seahawks defense going into next season where they're probably looking to win the Super Bowl and make a big run and do very well. So Quentin Dunbar is going to be a key part, probably cornerback number two. And if Quentin Dunbar can actually get with the team by Sunday and finish all of his COVID tests and pass them all, by Wednesday, that would probably mean that his first practice would be Wednesday or Thursday. So with that, the first NFL week starts September 13th. 
Now, August 13th would be the day that he would probably take his first practice if it would be Thursday. So that'd be exactly one month for him to build chemistry, learn the defense, you know, learn how to play with the team, with the guys around him. And I mean, I think a month is a good enough time for him to at least, you know, build somewhat of a bond with the players. You know, he's going to have great players around him. He'll have Shaquille Griffin. He'll have Jamal Adams. He'll have Quandre Diggs. He'll have Bobby Wagner. He'll have other very good players in the secondary that can help him. And, you know, if he makes a mistake, then maybe there will be players that can try to bail him out, you know. So, you know, he's going to have one month to build that chemistry. But I think that that one month is going to be huge because if this would have been delayed anymore, you know, maybe two weeks longer delayed, two weeks to build chemistry is way worse than one month. So I believe that there's probably going to be a good shot that he'll be ready by the time the season starts. And honestly, I am very excited for this because that means that the Seahawks defense, that, that is looking really good for us this season. Now, as we begin to ramp up this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the DeAndre Baker side of this. Obviously, DeAndre Baker is not a Seattle Seahawk, and, you know, Quentin Dunbar being dropped of his charges is a good thing for the Seattle Seahawks. Their secondary is going to be very good, but, you know, this DeAndre Baker side is very serious. This is a young man who has his whole life ahead of him, who has his whole NFL career ahead of him. He... He's, he's not a horrible player by any means. He's a first round pick. He's probably going to go on to have a pretty good career and make a lot of money, but he is facing some serious charges. Obviously, prosecutors didn't continue to go after Quentin Dunbar due to insufficient evidence, but DeAndre Baker, they're continuing to push for the charges of armed robbery. Now, these are very big you know, charges. These are very important charges because if he is convicted, that's a minimum of 10 years and up to life in prison. Now, that is absolutely insane to think about, that DeAndre Baker, someone so young, someone who is just coming into the league uh, as a first-round pick, could possibly go away for life off of one big mistake that happened. But, you know, there's a ton of things of people saying, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure his lawyer and stuff is saying that, you know, these witnesses are have been proven to be liars. They're trying to settle for money. They're trying to get just insane amounts of money from them just to, you know, say, oh, he didn't actually do it. But so it, apparently this case is just really bad. And apparently Broward, you know, county courthouse is bad and they're not treating it right or however you pronounce it, you know. It, I don't know exactly what the whole situation is. I know Quentin Dunbar's charges were dropped, so that's a good thing for us as a Seattle Seahawks fan. But, you know, DeAndre Baker, hopefully he can get past this. I mean, I don't know if what happened actually happened. There, I have no idea. It's all he said, she said at this point. And DeAndre Baker is now in a very serious matter where he could be facing multiple charges of armed robbery, which can put him away for at least 10 years and up to life. Now, that's absolutely insane. And I wish DeAndre Baker the best of luck. I don't know what the exact situation is. I've been hearing a lot of things saying that DeAndre Baker's innocent. And I'm pretty sure Quentin Dunbar even had a statement saying that DeAndre Baker is still, you know, wrongfully being persecuted. So we'll just have to see where it goes. Hopefully DeAndre Baker doesn't actually end up getting life in prison or anything. You know, it, it, I feel bad for the guy. I don't know what actually happened, but it sounds like this is just a very weird situation where no one knows what actually happened. And... I assume he's not going to be proven guilty because no one knows what happened. It's a bunch of he said, she said, and I, I think he'll be fine. But, you know, it, it, it is very serious to see a man potentially so young having the possibility of going to going to jail for life. So, you know, best of luck to DeAndre Baker. I'm glad that Quentin Dunbar got his charges dropped and he's going to be back with Seattle probably by the end of this week. So, you know. I'm happy for the news, sad for DeAndre Baker, but let me know what you think. Are you happy that Quentin Dunbar is, you know, dropped of his charges? I know a lot of people are. I definitely am. It's it's very good for us as the Seahawks. We're going to have our defense and our secondary much better with them than without him. You know, so I'm happy that he's released. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, I wish the best of luck for DeAndre Baker. And remember, wish my mother a happy birthday because we all love our moms, you know. <laughs> But with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my second channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers. And follow me on Twitch. I'll probably be streaming sometime in the next few weeks. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Have a great day.